want to simplify the following expressions completely. The first expression is two x raised to the fourth power. Let's first simplify this by expanding, and then we'll simplify it again using the power property of exponents. Notice we have an exponent of four, which means we have four factors of the base, which is two x. So this is equal to two x times two x times two x times two x. Once expanded, notice how we can see we have four factors of two and four factors of x. So we can write this as two to the fourth times x to the fourth. We can evaluate two to the fourth because the base is two. Two to the fourth is equal to four factors of two, which equals 16, and therefore this simplifies to 16 x to the fourth. Again, two to the fourth is equal to two times two times two times two, which equals 16. Now let's look at the power property of exponents. A raised to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a raised to the power of m times n. So when we have powers raised to the power as we multiply the exponents, this product indicates how many factors of a we have when we raise a to the m to the nth power. So applying the power property of exponents to this first expression, we need to view two x as two to the first times x to the first. So this is equal to two raised to the power of one times four times x raised to the power of one times four, which equals two raised to the power of four times x raised to the power of four, which again is equal to 16 x to the fourth. Let's look at our second example. We have three v to the sixth raised to the fifth power. So the base is three v to the sixth, which we need to think of as three to the first times v to the sixth. And because we have powers to powers, we multiply the exponents. This is equal to three raised to the power of one times five times v raised to the power of six times five, which is equal to three to the fifth times v to the thirtieth. But again, we can evaluate three to the fifth because the base is three. Let's do this on the calculator. Three to the fifth is equal to 243, and therefore this simplifies to 243 v to the thirtieth. To evaluate three to the fifth by hand, we'd expand three to the fifth, which is equal to five factors of three, which does equal 243. Next we have negative four w to the third, cubed or negative four w to the third raised to the third power. Notice how here the base is negative four w to the third. We need to be careful about this negative four. We need to view the negative four as negative four raised to the first power. So because we have powers of powers, we now multiply the exponents. So this is equal to the base of negative four raised to the power of one times three times w raised to the power of three times three. So this is equal to negative four raised to the power of three times w raised to the power of three times three, which equals nine. And again, it is important that we do have parentheses around the negative four because it indicates the base is negative four, not positive four. A base of negative four raised to the power of three does not mean the same thing as negative four raised to the third. Here, we have three factors of negative four, which is equal to negative 64. Here we have one negative sign and three factors of positive four. So while the value is still the same, this is negative 64, they don't mean the same thing. And in our case, because the negative four is inside the parentheses, the base is negative four. So this is equal to negative 64 w to the ninth. And for our last example, notice how we have the base of negative two c squared d to the twelfth raised to the seventh power. We need to view negative two as negative two raised to the first before we apply the power property of exponents. So this is equal to the base of negative two raised to the power of one times seven times c raised to the power of two times seven times d raised to the power of twelve times seven. So we have negative two raised to the power of seven times c raised to the power of two times 
2 times 7 is 14, times d raised to the power of 12 times 7, which is 84. So we have d raised to the power of 84. And now we need to evaluate the base of negative 2 raised to the seventh power. And let's do this on the calculator. So open parenthesis, negative 2, close parenthesis, raised to the power of 7, and enter, which gives us negative 128, which means the simplified expression is equal to negative 128, c to the 14th, d to the 84th. I hope you found this helpful.